That's always going to be our first step is we're going to use the midpoint formula to find the center of the circle. Then once we have the center, we're going to use the distance formula with the center and one of the endpoints. Now it doesn't matter which endpoint you use, I just suggest that we use the center and one of the endpoints because that way that will give us the radius. If we just do the distance formula with the two endpoints, then that's giving us the length of the diameter and we're going to have to divide by two. And it's just easier if we jump straight to um, just use the center and the and one of the endpoints, okay? So let's look at example one there on your paper. It says your points are 10, negative 6, and negative 6, 10. So we start with the midpoint because that's going to give us the center. So I'm going to go ahead and label it with the C. Okay, so 10 plus negative 6 over 2, negative 6 plus 10 over 2. Well, guess what? We're going to get the same point for the x and the y. Uh, that's what? 4 divided by 2, so that's 2, 2 is our center when you calculate those out. Okay, then I'm going to find my radius. So I'm going to use the distance formula. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to say D equals R, just to remind myself. When I do the distance formula, that is equal to my radius when I use the center and one of my endpoints. So my center is 2. I usually, just to keep it standard, I just use the first point that they gave me. So I'm going to do 2 minus 10 squared plus 2 minus negative 6 squared. You can use the other one if you really want to. I just think it's easier to use the same one every time. Use the first one that they gave you, okay? And work that out. Again, remember, put everything in but the square root. Okay, put everything in but the square root. 2 minus 10 squared plus 2 minus negative 6 squared gives us 128. R is the square root of 128, but remember when we write the equation of our circle, we turn around and we square r, so that square root just goes away. So our equation is x minus 2, okay, the x coordinate from our center, plus y minus 2, in this case they have the same value, is equal to 128 because that's supposed to be r squared right there. So still working with the same formula, just different information to start with before we can actually write that equation. Okay, let's do one more, and then I'm going to let you guys practice with this because you just kind of got to get it ingrained in your mind, okay? All right, so center comes from the midpoint when we've got the end point to the diameter. So negative 4 plus negative 12 over 2. 15 plus 9 over 2, so that is negative 16 over 2, negative 8, and 15 plus 9 is 14, 7, negative 8, 7. If I did anything wrong with my math, let me know. That's our center. So then we do the distance formula, which gives us our radius. We use the center point. And I use the first point that they gave me. If somebody wants to prove that it gives you the same thing, you can use the second one. And it's going to give you the same answer. What? Did I add something wrong? Yes, I did add something wrong. 15 plus 9 would be 24, not 14. Thank you. See? Not perfect. Y'all can tell me. So that means I need to fix this. That would be 12 minus 15. Whoops. See, it made a big difference. Okay. So let's plug that in. Negative 8 minus negative 4 squared plus 12 minus 15 squared. 25. So r is equal to the square root of 25. I do realize that 25 is a perfect square, all right? But I'm turning around and I'm squaring it again. 
So I'm just going to leave it under the square root. There's no point in taking the square root and then having to square it. So our equation is x plus 8 squared plus y minus 12 squared is equal to 25. Because yes, the radius is 5, but you've got to square it when you put it into the equation. Okay? So, nothing terribly difficult. You just got to remember all the pieces. So, I want you to practice. Do the other eight problems on this side of the worksheet. You are given a translation of the circle. So, they give you an equation. So, like looking at number six, I want you to do the last one of this set. Uh, looking at number six, they give you an equation of a circle. And then they say, I want you to translate that circle five units to the right and five units down. So, I think the easiest way to do this is to start by identifying the original center. Okay? Because when you move it, really what you're doing, you're not changing the radius or anything. You're just picking up the entire circle and moving it. So, really, you're moving that center point to a new place. So, if you identify the center and then you figure out which way you got to go, um, then you have your new center and then you fix your new equation. Okay? So let's look at number six. Start by identifying the current center. So what is the current center of that circle? 10, negative 13. Positive 10, negative 13. Remember we change the signs when we pull it out. So we are going to translate this five units to the right. Right and left means you're changing your x values. Uh, up and down means you're changing your y values. So if we move 5 to the right, moving to the right, we add, right? We would, if we move that 5 units to the right, instead of being at 10, now we're going to be at 15. So the new center is 15. And if we go 5 units down, what's our new y value going to be? Negative 18, because we were at negative 13, so now we're, now we're at negative 18. So, all we have to do is, is compose our new equation from that. Our x-coordinate is 15. Our y-coordinate is uh, 18. Okay, x minus 15, because we change our signs when we put it back in. We change the signs when we put it back in. So, x minus 15 squared plus y plus 18 squared is still equal to 16. We changed nothing about the radius. We changed nothing about the shape of the circle. We just changed where it was located. Um, so the radius is 4. Our new center is 15, negative 18, and the radius is 4. So this is what you need to do for those five problems. You need to write the new equation, and then I also want you to identify the new center and the radius, uh, which you got you got to find the new center anyway to write your equation. Uh, and then I just want you to practice identifying the radius. Okay, so do those first five. 